Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I'm Dano, this is... Presley. And we are gonna do another toy unboxing. This time it's for Disney Pixar's Finding Dory Coffee Pot Playset. This thing looks pretty cool. Yeah. It's a neat little aquarium. It even comes with its own batteries. It does. You know what's nice though? It, it comes with not just batteries for this, it comes with extra batteries. Extra? So that even when this thing dies the first time around, you have extra batteries. So you don't have to go run to the store because they're kind of small batteries and they're hard to find. So that's actually really nice that it comes with extra batteries. Yeah. Um, now what the, what is this? This is a Zuru toy. It looks like it says Zuru.com. And these little fish are these weird little... These, they like they swim around in the water. It's well, like you cool. tap it to make make it like to make Dory it's like wake move. her up or something and make yeah, her move. Wake her up. It looks like on the back of the box here it says, uh, "Take your exclusive Dory." So this Dory has an orange tag on it from like the Marine Life Institute or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, so this is an exclusive Dory. You can only get this Dory with this playset. And it says, uh, "Take the exclusive Dory on an adventure. Place her in the coffee pot and see her swim." Just like she does in the movie. Spoiler alert, I guess she swims around in the coffee pot. Well, hmm. She gets stuck. <laughs> okay, it says Dory can dive into the water and swim in all directions. And then the back it shows there's other ones. There's a regular Dory without a tag. There's a Nemo. There's Marlin. And who's that there? Bailey. Bailey. So it's perfect for bath time and pool play. So Bailey is a bigger one. Bailey is a beluga whale. Yeah. Now, I have a story about beluga whales. You want to hear my story about beluga whales? Oh, I think you already yeah. know it. Okay. Yeah. So get this, when I was younger, when I was I was about your age actually, I think I was in like, going into second grade. I was and you went to um... SeaWorld. Yeah. We went on a, okay, so I was little, we went on a family trip to SeaWorld, right? And if you guys have ever been to SeaWorld, they have these big arena shows, at these marine life places, yeah. and there was like a giant whale show, so it's a big arena that we're in. You know, we're well, talking hundreds of people who are there at the show, and they asked for a volunteer, they wanted a kid volunteer. So in my head I'm thinking, Cool, I'm gonna raise my hand. I'm gonna go crazy. This is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna get to ride on a whale, or I'm gonna take a whale home, or something. I didn't know what it was, but I was like, they wanna volunteer. I'm kinda close to the front. Now is my time. I'm a seven year old boy who's always wanted a whale. Let's do this. <laughs> and yeah, I thought I was gonna get to do something cool. So I did. I raised my hand. I raised my hand. I'm like, pick me, pick me. And the attendant, the person who was there, picked me out of the arena. The whole, hundreds of people around us. They pick me, Dano, they pick me. So I get so excited, I run down there and I'm up by the, the aquarium. And when you're that little, you have to like kind of look up because in the way they're designed, it's like a big thing you can see in the water because the aquarium's very tall, right? So I'm looking up and the attendant says, okay, everyone get quiet and everyone's quiet, right? The whole arena is quiet. Yeah. And the uh, attendant says, okay, count to three. So I count to three, I go one, the whole audience is counting, one, two, Three, and I thought something awesome was gonna happen. A beluga whale pokes his head over the edge of the arena, of the little aquarium, and he spits in my face on the count of three. I didn't get to ride a whale. I didn't get to take a whale home. I got spit on. We still have Albert. I do have Albert, I have a fish now, so that's close enough. But I got spit on and embarrassed in front of hundreds of people, and it was, that's, that's why I'm on the internet now making videos because of tragic moments like that. <laughs> That's my beluga whale story. Ugh. Back to the finding Dory. Hopefully Bailey doesn't spit in anyone's face in the movie. Should we, you wanna open this up and we can add some water yeah. and see how Dory does her thing? All right, let's do it. Okay, let's cut that. Snip. Well, let's cut this back here. I want to say you eat, that you have to even open it up, like, open the pot up to get like Dory out so you can open it up like Yeah, yeah, you do, huh? Yeah. I don't quite understand how that's working, but we'll figure it out here in a second. Okay, so I've got my box. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. But I think it should twist off eventually. There it is. Cool. So we've got Dory. Oh, she just pops right out. Cool. It's in a nice size bowl. Shall we cut this open? Yep. Extra batteries. That is so nice. They gave us extra batteries. Yeah. It, it's even nice that it even comes with batteries. Yeah, a lot of times you don't even get batteries. What do it say? Batteries not included. Are we going to keep the exclusive tag on? I think it's painted on there. Oh. I think it's just an exclusively painted. Yeah, it's painted. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So it's like always there. 
Now, this says extra batteries included. Oh, it's already got batteries in it. Okay, so let's let's take a look here at, at Dory. I, once, I think once you press her, play. If you okay, so there. Oh, sorry, sorry. Turn off. Turn off. So, Dory is really cool looking. In fact, like this is this is really awesome. I want to show you guys like close up of what she looks like. So I'll kind of put it down here. You guys can see. Let's get our camera. Okay, so a, t a close up look at Dory. Here's the tail. If you look at it close, it's very rubbery. It's actually like kind of flimsy and bendable and rubbery. It even has like um, a metal thing at the end. There is a little metal tail in it because that's where it moves. That's a little yeah. joint. Now, notice the tag on there says transfer 3181. And here is Dory. Here, so Dory looks pretty good. Dory looks really good. And see these little black nubs right there? That little black nub? And another little black nub right there? Those are what turn it on. Look at that face. Dory's got a really cool face. Now, actually, I think this is a really good sculpt. I recently actually sculpted Dory. If you want to take a look here, I do a channel, a show here on Dano Channel called Making Magic with Dory, and I made these casts. I made them out of clay, and then I made them out of resin. I put resin in these little fish bowls inside with all these clay figures. And you also here. painted the Dory. And I painted the Dory. I sculpted the Dory. I sculpted Marlin. So you can kind of see the resin cast cracked a little bit in there, but I still like it. And I did another one of... Uh, Finding Nemo, or Nemo and Marlin. So, I'm used to seeing Dory. I even painted a Dory. This is from Finding Dory. It's a design of vinyl. You can see that video. But this Dory looks really good. Doesn't she look like right on? Yeah. I like the way her face is shaped. I like all of it. It's really cool looking. And down here is where you put the batteries. We don't need to get a screwdriver out today because it's already got batteries in there. In fact, I'm going to push both these little buttons. Okay, you ready? That's it. I just touched them and it goes. Touch I just touched, or touch, yeah, touch, I meant um, um, like the little black things. So that's all you gotta do. You barely tap them, boop, and it goes crazy. This is awesome. We should put some water in here and then see it go. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, guys, I'm back and I've got the little fish bowl here, coffee pot thing, filled up with water. I screwed the top back on, which is kind of nice because you can actually pick it up by this handle. You ready? You wanna put her in? I'll let you do the honors of putting her in there. She just drops right in. Oh, okay, so she's moving around. Very cool. You guys want to see what that looks like? Look, look up close. She kind of stops for a minute. Interesting, interesting. Keep going, Dory, keep going. Now, let's wait for her to stop, and then let's see what happens. Let's see if we can tap. So she's still going. Take a look at that, that's really cool looking. Now I notice she doesn't sink. Did you notice that? She doesn't really sink to the yeah. bottom. So I wonder if that's like a normal thing, or maybe I put too much water. It doesn't really have instructions telling you how much water to put in. I like it though, it, it is like cool. It looks like the same exact amount. It's just Dory's like at the bottom. Yeah, I wonder if maybe she's got some air bubbles that are keeping her up. We'll see though, maybe it'll stop here in a second. Or not. Or not. I do like the swimming action of it though. You know what I'm going to do with this? I'm actually going to put it in the background. So it'll be in the background of my videos from now on. And that'll be kind of cool. Swim oh, she stopped. It? Okay, you want to tap on it? You tap on it. Give it like a good flick it. No? Oh, can I try? Tap like. There you go. Oh, that's how it works. And now she goes again. That's really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. That's really cool looking. Look, there's Dory swimming. There's Dory swimming. So you're just... So she's not going to be swimming? Where, in the background? Yeah. Maybe I'll tap the video. I'll, I'll tap the. Uh, I'll tap Dory before I start a video. It's up to you guys to notice. What I'll do is I'll put it in the background. What about the batteries? Well, we'll put new batteries in. I have a bunch of extra sets of batteries, so we're good. Water? That's pretty cool. I like it. Now, if you notice on the back of the box, it also says there is a Marine Life Institute playset, and it works with these exact same uh, fish, these Zuru pet things, where it's like a track, and it looks like a little like long track, and you put them in there, and they swim, and they go all along the little track, seeing different spots of the uh, attraction. That's really cool looking. Overall, what do you think about this toy? Pretty cool? Pretty fun? Yeah. It'd be neat to throw one of these in the pool. Yeah. Or like maybe in the bathtub. Well, That'd be kind of fun. We don't have a pool, though. We don't, but we can always go to a pool. Yeah. There's plenty of pools. Okay, you want to do one more tap before we go? Tap up here. Tap part. Oh, never mind. I didn't even tap it though. I barely even touched. 
Oh, she's going, she's going. This is cool. I do like this toy a lot. I think that's a really cool idea to make a coffee pot. Now, are you excited for the movie? Yeah. What do you think is going to happen with coffee pot? Like, maybe she gets stuck and, like, Hank helps get in. Now, who's Hank? The squid. He is a septipod or septipus, something like that. Octopus has how many tentacles? Eight. Eight. So he's a septipus. He has seven. Did just you know gonna, that? I was just going to say it. Oh, so close. That's really awesome. I'm excited to see this movie. I really like this toy. Guys, if you want to see more toy unboxings, we do a lot of toys here. We do Star Wars lightsabers. We do Star Wars Micro Machines. I do Disney-inspired artwork, like these art projects for my Making Magic with Dano that's supported by my Patreon supporters. If you're interested in that, check down in the description below or go to patreon.com slash Dano. And, uh, you know, leave us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new around here. We'd love to have you hang out and we can play more toys. It is June. I think we should bust out a Jurassic Park toy soon. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's been a while. Well, Jurassic Park. are there any Jurassic Park toys? Not new ones, but we can always play with the old ones from the 90s. Guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye!